Welcome to the Leon's Bazaar Adventure. In this video, we'll explore the proper methods for putting an end to a cat fight. While cats are typically known for their independence and peaceful nature, there are moments when they engage in disputes with fellow felines. These battles might appear puzzling to cat guardians, yet they generally stem from specific underlying causes. First and foremost, we need to distinguish between different scenarios that can trigger a fight. How you should respond will vary depending on whether it involves a stray cat fight or a conflict occurring inside your home, among your own cats. Keep this distinction in mind as we continue with this video. One of the most interesting aspect of cat fights is the role of vocalizations in their communication. We all know that they can be very noisy, and for long periods of time, especially before they start fighting. The thing here is that there's a communication going on there. Cats are known for their various vocalizations, and during a fight, they can produce a range of sounds, including growls, hisses, and yowls. These vocalizations serve not only as warnings to their opponent but also as a way to communicate with their human companions. What's really fascinating about all these is that studies have shown that cats may modify their vocalizations during a fight based on their perception of their owner's presence. If a cat is in a confrontation with another cat and it knows its owner is nearby, it may increase the intensity and frequency of its vocalizations, almost as if it's seeking help or attention from their human. This behavior suggests that cats are not only communicating with each other during fights, but also attempting to engage their human caregivers as a form of support or intervention. Did you know about this? If not, let us know in the comments. But after all, why do cats engage in conflict in the first place? At its core, the driving force behind cat fights often rests in the realm of territorial instincts. Cats have an innate need to establish and defend their territory, which can lead to confrontations when boundaries blur, and another cat encroaches upon their claimed domain. If you're curious about the origins of these instincts, you'll find a card on your screen and a link in the video description that provides further insight on this topic. Another part of this discord lies in the dynamics of hierarchy. In multi-cat households or among feral colonies, the struggle for dominance unfolds through these battles. It's a complex dance where roles of dominance and submission are in constant flux. Scarce resources, whether it's the bowl of nourishment or the cozy resting spot by the window, can also ignite conflicts. Cats, in their quest for sustenance and comfort, may find themselves in a tug-of-war over these coveted treasures. Beneath these layers, there's an undercurrent of fear and self-preservation. Cats may resort to aggression when they feel threatened either to protect themselves or to deter potential dangers. But when it comes to stopping a cat fight, what's the right way to do it? If you find cats fighting indoors, don't shout or clap your hands, as it can make things worse by stressing them further. It's essential to remain calm and composed during a cat fight. Yelling or panicking can agitate them further. Avoid using your hands. Never attempt to physically intervene using your hands. Cats can unintentionally scratch or bite you in the heat of the moment. You can always use water. A spray bottle filled with water can be a useful tool to deter cats from fighting. A quick spritz of water near the cats, not directly at them, can break their focus and stop the fight. If none of these work, throw a blanket or towel over the fighting cats. This can disorient them and stop the fight. Avoid punishment, never punish the cats after the fight. It's crucial to remember that they were reacting to a perceived threat or conflict. And punishment can increase stress and anxiety. Check for injuries. After separating the cats, check for any injuries. Cats have sharp claws and teeth, and even minor scratches can become infected. If either cat appears injured, consult a veterinarian. Now, if you're trying to sleep, and outdoor cats are keeping you awake, you can try to distract them with a loud noise, like clapping your hands or using a whistle. This might startle them and briefly interrupt their fight. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so, please don't forget to leave a like. You have no idea of how much this means to me, thank you for watching and see you next time.